stepped inside the challenge, looked at the target. And there was never any question or any doubt. And Derry increased their lead to two points to no score. That's a pure ball. That comes to McCall. McCall puts it through to Duffy. He tries it first time. And that was a great five from a very, very confident player. All of one of them are pleased with that, and so will he be. But he had perhaps an opportunity to pick it up. He declined that opportunity and just drove the ball over the bar. Good score. McCusker looks inside. Brawley's calling for it. Tried to thread the ball through. That was good defensive work, but it falls for Cassidy. Cassidy puts it out again. To Seamus Darney. Darney turns, swivels, looks at the target. Great score by Darney. One of the best forwards in the game. Half an opportunity. Point for Derry. Gets it here. Going nowhere. Just swivels. Doesn't even look at the target, actually. Instinct. Knows where it is. Good score. Duffy. Out wide looking for the ball. Takes on Carl Diamond. Still goes on. He was held back. Referee again. Gives the free. And off the ball. McGinnity seems to be held. Stephen McGinnity did swing after he was held by Johnny McBride. One of these all too common occurrences in Gaelic football. Both players at each other pulling jerseys. McGinnity was being held. He protests, but he did retaliate. And he sent off. And that's a cruel blow for McGinnity. You can see he doesn't think much of it. And he says it to McBride. The referee obviously determined to have no indiscipline today. Heaney again. He's had a fine game, Dermot Heaney. Foraging well in the middle of the park. McKeever down to Brawley. Brawley tries to escape his marker. He does. He gets past Guffey and he's on the run. Brawley's got the target in front of him. He still goes on to his left foot again. Off the post this time. He's back to Dugan. Could be a goal here. He has it, yes! Comes off the post. The big number nine, the Newbridge player, watched it all the way. And from Monaghan defence, hesitated. He didn't. Brawley goes through. The ball looked to be a point all over. There it is, off the post. Dugan collects its second attempt. And Murphy, no chance. The Declan Lockman has moved back into defence. The try and combat the, the loss of Stephen McGinnity. That ball comes to Downey again. Doesn't even think about it. Shoots and that's a fine, fine score from a fine, fine player. Seamus Downey at Lavi. You really just can't give him any opportunity or any space at all. Goal and four to a point they lead. Of course they do have the advantage of the breeze. This is McCall, the number nine, robbed by Downey. Clever play by the centre half back, but he in turn loses it to Duffy, the flying machine, the man who was the star last week. Duffy on the run again, and Duffy fouled once more. Monaghan need the score. A lot of pressure on this young man. Goal and four to a point. Looking for Monaghan second and his first, he flicks it in. Allowed for the win. That was a beautiful score by Declan McKernan. A real confidence booster for him. Brawley again searches for the space. Brings out Dermot Duffy. But here goes McBride once more into Brawley. This is a good opportunity. It's a great break by Brawley. He puts it. And he gets the score. Well, he was always looking for the space. He was always looking for the ball. And when he got it, well, he responded in style. Great break this by Brawley. And a very, very cool finish from the corner man. Monaghan could do with a, a few more scores before that referee's whistle. Edwin Murphy, to be fair to them, they have performed very, very well with 14 men. They've worked very hard. And here's an opportunity of a break for Gregory Flanagan. Flanagan was three, was held up. Referee says play away. And there indeed is the score for Monaghan. A very, very well worked score. And Declan Smith, only in to the game in the past five minutes, the man who gets it. Kieran McKeever, the captain. Referee says that was a fair enough challenge. 
And he gives the free in there to uh, to Derry. Monaghan players argue. Derry get on with it, particularly down eight. And that's a magnificent score by Seamus Down eight. Economy of effort from the full forward. Again, referee Martin McBrien checks his watch, but he says play away. There's still time to go. Down and deep towards Downey, what a game he's had. Gives it back to Dugan. Ready to score a goal, flicks it through to Brawley. An opportunity for Brawley, gets it in front of the goal. And that was simple, and it was perfect. And well may he celebrate. They just opened up the Monaghan defence at a crucial stage of the game, just before the break. And Joe waves to the crowd in his normal, his normal fashion, and he will be very, very happy. Did he will look for the score, that's great work by Henry Downey. Watched it all the way the centre half. Back to Gregory Flanagan. Under pressure from McBride, still under pressure, gives it back to Declan Smith. Screws it over towards McCusker's goals and the keeper content to punch it away, but only as far as Barron. He got a goal last week. He's got a point this week. And this certainly is a spirited second half start by Monaghan. It's now 2-7 to 6. Bernie had it, ball popped back again, Lockard, as Dugan far side, goes himself, gives it to Darnay, Darnay gives it back to him, good work by John Marty Lockard, he's got his opportunity in hand, taking it back to McCusker, McCusker with the effort, and McCusker with the point, and this dirty team beginning to show shades of football that brought them the All-Ireland title, they get into car open this morning in defence at will, back to Darnay, a great game Henry Downey today at centre half back he's been all over the park and still he goes takes the challenge puts the ball back inside and McCusker well, McCusker the old one two between two of the most experienced campaigners and Derry works at feet again and the ball breaks through to Conlon again he's done well for Monaghan today but he hasn't really had too much support Dermot McArdle the other half back Back to Declan Smith, he's got men outside, he likes to go on himself. Puts it in towards McCusker's goals. And puts it over the bar. And certainly from a Monaghan point of view, Declan Smith has been one of the success stories today. He's a very, very accurate player and a well ticket score. Back into Dermot Duffy again. Not too many options ahead of him. Maybe content just to put it through here. But there's Toholt, picks up the pieces. And the former Derry City player. There's plenty of time just to pop it out to Fergal McCusker. Back to Brawley again. Good combination, exhibition stuff really from Derry. To Henry Downey, what a game he's had. He gives it through to McKeever. And the captain will look for a score. Might even go for a goal if he gets an opportunity. And he's content to pop it over again. Where he's far. Another score for Derry. And a score for the wee man from Dungiven. I think the difference this week and last week was that uh, we made a more positive start. And at half time we were well on top. And uh, with Monaghan sending off, the game faded out at the end. But uh, in saying that, we made it very difficult for ourselves last week. But this week we made it an awful lot easier for ourselves. Sterry were much better on the day and deserved the victory. I congratulate them and uh, I wish them well in the rest of the championship. We have no excuses. Uh, it was, I suppose, partly... We must take the responsibility ourselves. Some of our fellas played badly, but asking to play with 14 for 60 minutes out of 70 was too much. We were gritty today, and you know we weren't taken by surprise. Last week they got seven points up after about 25 minutes, and naturally enough there was a panic at that stage. We thought we were gone, and so during the week we had a chance to stiffen our resolve. We've had a lower profile this year because of the fact that we went out of the National League at an earlier stage, so it's been a bit easier for us. But we know we have a mountain to climb. We're very young.